Hi dear students, welcome to Geeta's classes. Today we are going to discuss some objective questions in the topic mathematical induction. So this is the first question. If n is an odd positive integer, a n plus b n is divisible by. We have the formula when n is odd, n can take the values 1, 3, 5 etc. We know when n is equal to 1, it is uh, a plus b. When n is equal to 3, a cube plus b cube. This itself is a formula. Similarly, a per n, when n is equal to 5, a per 5 plus b per 5 is a plus b into. So, everywhere we are getting a plus b into. Therefore, a n plus b n is divisible by a plus b for, uh, uh, for odd positive integers n. Similarly, 1 squared plus 2 squared. Next question, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus etc. n squared. We know this is the formula n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Next question, cube, sum of the first n uh, natural numbers, cubes of uh, first n natural numbers. Again, we know this is a uh, formula, n into n plus 1 divided by 2, the whole squared, so option D, okay. Next, for any natural number, n, 7 per n minus 2 per n is divisible by. Always remember, whenever uh, you, you are using the mathematical induction, the given statement, you take it as S of n, that is 7 power n minus 2 power n is divisible by divisible by whatever number divisible by 3 or divisible by 4 etc. Okay that we are going to find out. So how to find out this 7 power n minus 2 power n this is our s of n. So s of 2 is 7 minus 2 5 s of uh, sorry s of 1 is 7 minus 2 5 s of 2 is 45. Therefore, it is uh, divisible by 5. It is divisible by only 5. 5 is not divisible by any other number that is 3, 5, 3 other, other given numbers 3, 4, 7, etc. Okay. So, it is always divisible by 5. But if you want to up to here, it is enough. 7 per n, this is divisible by 5. Because in objective, no, you need not spend lot of time for uh, every question. So, quickly you can find out. But if you want to prove that, then you have to go for s of k and s of k plus 1. If uh, 7 minus 4, uh, actually actual proof is this one only. S of k is 7. You have to assume that 7 per k minus 2 per k is divisible by 5. And you have to prove that S of k plus 1. That is S of k plus 1 is also divisible by 5. That you have to prove. So if you write 7 per k plus 1, 7 per k into 7 plus 2 per k into 2. Uh, we, want, we know that 7 per k minus 2 per k is divisible by 5. So, try to write this term as 7 per k minus 2 per k. So, we, we have 7 into 7 per k. So, try to write this as 7 into, so that I can take this 7 outside. So, 7 into 2 per k. So, what we have done, we have uh, subtracted minus 5. So, add minus 5. Okay, add and subtract uh, 5. So, 5 into 2 per k. So, therefore, this can be written as 7 into 7 per k minus 2 per k plus remaining is 5. So, first term we know that this is by uh, induction hypothesis, this is divisible by 5 and again we have a multiple of 5, therefore it is divisible by 5, okay. So, that is the proof but for objective you need not uh, do all these things. If it is for descriptive, you have to write all these things. So, next term is nth term of the given series, okay. So, here uh, trial and error method only, just substitute n is equal to 1, 2, etc. in all the terms, the answer will be uh, it will be satisfying only for b, n squared plus n plus 1. Because s of 1 is 3, s of 2 is 7, s of 3 is 13 and so on. So, this will be n squared plus n plus 1. Others will not satisfy, okay. Then n into n plus 1 into 5, n plus 5. Again, s of k, s of n is to be taken as n into n plus 1 into uh, n plus 5. So, n is equal to 1, 12, n is equal to 2, 42. So, we may not get some, uh, it is divisible by 2 or 3. So, you will get some clue that it is maybe divisible by 2 or 3. So, in that case, you write S of k, that is the uh, assumption that is, is divisible by. That also we don't know, okay. So, just give, uh, keep it aside and go for S of k plus 1. So, S of k plus 1 here, S of k, whatever you write in S of k plus 1, try to write in terms of S of k plus something. So, that remaining terms is multiple of 3. So, if you simplify, you will be getting uh, 3k squared plus 15k plus 12. S of k plus this one. This is a multiple of 3. So, from that we can decide that it is a multiple of 3. Okay. 
Sometimes we'll, because by 12, you can say that it is the multiple of 2 and 3, here again 2 and 3. So, otherwise you can do for n of 3 also the common uh, thing you can take. But in general, this is the case, right? Next is uh, n squared plus n. It is always even. Just by substituting the numbers, you can see n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3. Everything is uh, even only. Okay. Next is again divisible by. So divisible by first to substitute n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2 and all. If not possible, then go for s of k and s of k plus 1. Right. Here itself you can say uh, 391, it is, multi it is divisible by 17. And even for n is equal to 2 if you substitute. You can take the calculator because calculator is allowed for the exam. You can use your calculator and find out whether it is a multiple of uh, 17 or any other number also. You can divide and check. Okay. So how will you divide and check whether it is a multiple or not? If you divide by 17, whether you are getting one integer or not. Okay. If you get one fraction, then a decimal number, then it is not divisible by that number, right? Using the calculator, you can divide, uh, decide like that. Again, this is uh, as usual, divisible by 11, 10 power 2n minus 1. Whatever is given, you take this term as s of n, right? Then n is equal to 1, s of 1, s of 2, etc. You have to find out. Then 7 power 2n minus uh, 48, n minus 1. Again, this is divisible by usual procedure only, the same procedure only n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and all you can, n is equal to 1 also divisible by 2, 3, 0, 4 you can say because 0 into 2, 3, 0, 4 you can say, okay. So it is divisible by uh, z, uh, uh, 2, 3, 0, 4 for n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 also you will be getting 2, 3, 0, 4. Uh, next is again the same thing divisible by 11 you can verify the answers, okay. This is again divisible by 2 because 4, 10, and 18, 4, it is divisible by 2 and 4, you will get some doubt. And 10, again, 4 is divisible by only by 2 or 4. And here you are getting 10. Therefore, it is only, it cannot be divisible by 5. 5 we can't take because S of 1 is not divisible by 5, okay. And similarly, even if you take S of 3, it is divisible by 2. Uh, next again, the same procedure only, it's divisible by 64. These are the different types of problems you can, different types of numbers can be changed, okay, divisible by 24. Uh, now, this is a different question. Here you have to check T n, T of n, T, uh, first statement, T of 1 is true or not. What is T of 1? 1 plus 1, only 1 first term, 2 n minus 1. In general, if you write 2 n minus 1, when n is equal to 1, 2 minus 1, which is 1. So, left hand side 1 and this is LHS. And RHS is what? N squared minus 1. That is 1 squared minus 10, which is minus 9. This is not possible, right? This is equal to minus 9. So, 1 minus 10 is not equal to 1. Therefore, 1 is not true. So, this option is not there. And T of K is true. T of K plus 1 is true. So, assume uh, T of K is true. Assume that uh, T of K is true. Uh, that is 2, uh, this one up to 2k minus 1, we have k squared minus 10, right? So, t of k plus 1 is one more term you have to add. What is that? 2 into k plus 1 minus, uh, plus 1, right? So, 2k, sorry, 2k minus 1. So, 2k plus 2 minus 1, that is 2k plus 1, that is the next term. You have to, whenever you have k, that k should be replaced by k plus 1 for the next term. So, this is our next term will be 2k plus 1. Okay. Uh, so, we know that up to this, up to 2k minus 1 by use, using induction hypothesis, we know that it is k squared minus 10 and next term is 2k plus 1. So, k squared plus 2k minus 9. Yeah, this is also, this is equal to, actually k squared plus 10, the right hand side, how do you know that this is uh, k squared plus 2k minus 9? Actually, we want k plus 1 the whole square minus 10, right? Right hand side should be k, k plus 1 the whole square minus 10, which is equal to k squared plus 2k plus 1 minus 10. That is k squared plus 2k minus 9. That's what we got.
k square plus 2k minus 9. Okay, therefore it is true. So second uh, b is true. What about c? It cannot be true because for all n belongs to n. Because for t of 1 it is not true. Okay, t of k is true implies t of k plus 1 is true is correct. So only for uh, b it is satisfying. Next is a student was asked to prove a statement p of n by induction. So he proved that uh, p of k plus 1 is true whenever p of k is true for all k greater than 4 belongs to n and also that p of 4 is true. Based on this he connected that, uh, he concluded that sorry, he concluded that p of n is true for all k, he, he has proved that it is true for 4 and k greater than 4. Therefore, for all n greater than or equal to 4. Therefore, c is true. Okay. Next is divisible by 2, you can verify. Similarly, it is a multiple of 3. Uh, next, uh, S of 1, this is, uh, t, uh, here this is a different kind of question. 10 power n plus 3 into 4 power n plus 2 plus k is divisible by 9 for all n belongs to n. Then the least positive integral value of k. Here it is given that it is divisible by 9 and we have to find out the value of k. So first find S of 1. S of 1 is what? 10 plus 3 into 4 power 3. According to this substitute, n is equal to 1 plus k. So 10 plus 3 into 64 plus k, that is 2 not 2 plus k. When will you say that a number is divisible by 9? The sum of the digits should be divisible by 9. Here what is that? 2 not 2, that is 2 plus 2, 4. I want 9. So 9 means next by adding 5, minimum value of k, least positive integral value of k. That is minimum value of k for dividing it by divisible by 9 means what? 5. If you add 5, it will be divisible by uh, 9. Okay. So, k is equal to 5 is the answer. Next is the base case for e inequality 7 per n minus n cube. So, this is our S of n where n is equal to 3. Base case means what? That is... Uh, that is the basis of induction. Okay, induction, basis of induction is for minimum value. Sometimes we will prove it for S of 0. Sometimes we can prove it for S of 1. Always it need not be S of 0 or S of 1. For n is equal to 3 also it can start. So where n is equal to 3 is the basis given. Okay, therefore 7 per n. This is the, uh, this is our S of n. So S of 3 is asked. S of 3 is what? 7, that is, uh, that is our basis of induction. So, 7 cube minus, uh, sorry, greater than 3 cube. Here, only possibility is greater than uh, this one. Uh, that is, uh, 656 is not satisfying this. That is, 7 cube is 343. Greater than n cube, that is, 3 cube is 27. So, C is the answer. Next is, in the principle of mathematical induction, which of the following steps is mandatory? Induction hypothesis, inductive reference, induction set assumption, minimal set representation. I hope you know that is induction hypothesis is the answer. Okay, that is mandatory. And according to principle of mathematical induction, if P of k plus 1 is m per k plus 1 plus 5 is true, then that must, dash must be true. That is, if we know that if P of k is true by mathematical induction, P of, if P of k is true, P of k plus 1 is true. Here they have given P of k plus 1. If this is true, then that must be the true. That is the previous value must be true. Okay, that is what the, what it means. So, what is that? M of m per k plus 1. For P of k plus 1, m per k plus 1. So, k plus 1 should be re, uh, uh, replaced by k. Okay. Next is, again this is P of n is given. Uh, which of the following does not divide P of k plus 1? So, what is our P of k? It is k into k squared minus 1. Okay, that is P of k is k into k squared minus 1. That can be written as k into k plus 1 into k minus 1. What is P of k plus 1? k plus 1. Wherever you have k, replace it by k plus 1. So, k plus 1 plus this k should be replaced by k plus 1. And this k should also be replaced by k plus 1. That is k plus 1 and this becomes k plus 2 and this term becomes uh, k plus uh, 1 minus 1. So, this 1 and 1 will get cancelled, you will get k. Therefore, p of k plus 1 contains these terms. That is, we have k, 
we have k plus 2 and we have k plus 1. Therefore, k plus 3 is not there. K plus, it, is, it does not divide uh, k plus, uh, k plus 3 does not divide p of k plus 1. Okay. It is not a factor. Next is p of k is equal to given. What is p of k plus 1? Again, p of k is given k squared plus p of k is given as k squared plus k plus 3, sorry, into k plus 3, not plus, into k plus 3 into k squared minus 1. So, wherever you have k, replace it by k plus 1. So, k plus 1, the whole squared, k plus 3. So, k plus 1 plus 3, uh, k squared minus 1, that is k plus 1, the whole squared minus 1. And expand it, you will be getting k squared, plus, k plus 1, the whole squared, plus k plus 4 into k into k plus 2, that is available in option C. Next is n cube uh, plus 5n. It is uh, divisible by 3. As usual, usual procedure you can apply. Uh, I hope uh, this you will be useful for your objective uh, test. Objective questions uh, will be useful for you. If you find this class useful, uh, please give your feedback so that I will upload objective questions for other topics also. Okay. So please uh, let me know if you want other topics or not. Thank you for listening. Thank you.